This video is sponsored by Gelato. Sign up today and use the link in the video description below to get up to 60% off your first order. Etsy gets over 300 million viewers each month. Potential customers are looking for everything, including t-shirts, fine art prints, mugs, and gifts for loved ones. So in this video, I'm going to walk through how you can sell print-on-demand products using Gelato. Gelato is a premium print-on-demand solution that offers superior turnaround times and local shipping sources. And this is great because it helps you avoid cross-border hassle like customs and import fees. Let's create a design in Gelato and then list it on Etsy. Now, if you're a complete beginner to this, do not worry, you're in the right place. I'm gonna walk you through the concept of how this works. So first and foremost, there's you, okay? You're the seller and you're gonna work with Gelato and you're gonna create a t-shirt design. So that's what I'm gonna do in this video. We're gonna create a t-shirt design and then we're gonna list it on Etsy. Etsy is the marketplace where customers come from all over the world to buy your items. So there's a customer and they're looking on Etsy and they see the shirt. So it's important to note the customer looking on Etsy is not going to know that Gelato is the service provider. All they know is they're buying the t-shirt from you. So when the customer buys the shirt, let's just use an example, let's say they pay $30 for the t-shirt, Etsy's gonna take their cut, they have a 6.5% commission, so they would then send you the remainder, which is $28.05, and then you would receive that money. Now Etsy also talks to Gelato and Gelato would then print and ship the shirt to the customer and charge you the price of the shirt. Now the shirt ships from Gelato to the customer directly. So you don't need to do anything except upload and list the designs. That's what I'm gonna walk through in this video. Let's jump in. Okay, so let's get started here. I'm on the Gelato main page and I'm gonna click over here on the top right to sign in. So when you first sign in, you're gonna see a menu along the left-hand side. This is a product catalog. It shows me my stores, and there's also other things like billing and settings. You can go in and create a design right here, but I'm gonna actually link my store. So I'm gonna go here to stores on the left-hand side. Here I've got my active account where I can order products for myself, and I could add a product and get it shipped to a customer directly or to myself as a sample, but I'm actually gonna scroll down and I'm gonna connect a new store. So here I'm gonna connect my store on Etsy to Gelato. So I'll click the connect button. So I've been automatically transferred over to the Etsy.com website and it's asking me if I'm trying to sign in. I'm gonna say yes, grant access for Etsy to talk to Gelato. And just like that, my Etsy store is now active on Gelato. Okay, so we can see we have two stores now set up. This is my personal account that I can use to order products and ship them to people. This is my Etsy store here at the top. So I can click add product and we can add a product directly into the Etsy store using only Gelato. Now I do wanna point out on the top right, there's a currency tab and I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna click my display currency. I'm actually gonna change it to Canadian dollars because I'm based in Canada. So just double check that before you start listing products and it just makes it easier to see what the costs are. So here now I'm gonna click add product on the Etsy line. Okay, and we're gonna add women's clothing. So I'm gonna click on this tab here and then I'm gonna click on t-shirts. Now this gives me a whole bunch of different options and you can see there's colors listed and the base price is listed as well. So I'm gonna click on this premium women's crew neck t-shirt, Bella Plus Canvas 6004. This is a really nice t-shirt. It's a little higher end, it's $17.31. That's the base cost that I would pay and so I would need to list that on Etsy for more money than what I'm paying. So I'm gonna click on this. I really like this page here. This is the product page where I can now add in my design. There's colors along the left-hand side. So take note of the left-hand menu. There's products, layers, files. I'm right in the top here, which is products. So if I wanted, I could change the color of this. So let's say I wanted to have a red shirt. That's gonna add in a red variant over on the right-hand side. So now when I click the red one, that's gonna give me a variant. So when I list my product, it would actually have two colors available for purchase. So I would recommend when you're first starting out to keep things relatively simple, I'm gonna uncheck the red. Same thing here with the sizes. You could have multiple sizes and I'm gonna leave all my sizes open and let's pick one extra variant here, which is royal. So we've got blue and we've got white. So I'm gonna keep it simple, just two colors and five sizes. And let's upload now a design right in Gelato. 
So I'm going to click on Files, and from here, I can now select a file, and I'm going to select my kitty cat. So here's my design here. I can then shrink him down. I can move him around. I can even rotate him if I want as well. If I don't like that design, I can also just click the Delete key, and then it just gives me a blank little holder for a design, and I'm going to click Delete again, and that gets rid of it. So I'm going to click my cat here, and I'll just shrink him down. And I'm going to create a Christmas design here. So I'm going to click a little Santa hat, and I'm going to put him on top of the cat. So I'm going to just shrink the hat down a tiny bit. It's kind of fun here to do the designing, and that's very easy. Now I could also add in text if I wanted as well. So I'm actually going to shrink this down even more because I want to add in some text in the window. So I'm going to move him up a tiny bit, center him, move the Santa hat over, make the Santa hat a bit bigger. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to select the text button on the left hand side, and I'm going to click add text. And that gives me a sample text bucket, and I can now move this text down, and I can type in, so I've got my little text design there as well. I did the text right inside of Gelato. Now I can double click that, I can highlight all the text, and I can actually change the font. So I could select another free font here, for example, Oswald Bold is a nice one that comes up. So there's that's going to be my design now. Now I can check out my blue t-shirt on the right hand side. When I click on Royal, we can see it's there as well. I, I would recommend that you check out all the variants because what happens is if you've got light t-shirts and dark t-shirts, the font might not look that great. So what we can do here is go back up to Product, and I can unselect the blue, and I could select maybe another lighter color, like for example the Heather, and that would now populate just a gray t-shirt instead. So now I'm going to go up here to the right where it says Continue to Mockups. All right, now there's different mockups to choose from, and some are premium and some are free. So if you see a little crown next to it, it's a premium mockup that's part of a Gelato Plus subscription. And that's a really cool feature that gives you extras. And uh, if you're interested in Gelato Gold, I highly recommend you check them out in the link in the video description below. I'm going to scroll on through here and I'm going to find the free mockup because I'm using the free account. We can see right there, there's a free mockup. There's a lady wearing the shirt. I'm going to use the lady wearing the shirt. I like having a human being wearing the shirt. So I've got these two highlighted. I've got the human being and I've got the regular t-shirt. And as I scroll on down, I can see these are the mock-ups for my store. And then also these are the mock-ups for my store. So these four images are going to show up. I've got two for the white and then two for the athletic Heather. I'm now going to click continue to details. Okay, and now this is what the Etsy listing is going to look like. If you did nothing, this is just pre-populated, so I haven't actually typed in any text yet. So what I'm going to do now is type into my title keywords. Okay, so I've got some keywords now entered, which is my title and then the description. And then this is the pre-populated information about the product itself, which is really nice. Now under settings, there's tags, like for example, cats. So I've entered in some cat tags here, funny cat, cat t-shirt, and I can select up to 13 tags. I would recommend you use all 13 tags. This is how people find your designs. I did want to point out if you have all caps in your title, it'll give you a little message up here at the top that titles can't have more than three words with capital letters. And so I'm going to just revise this. Okay, so you want to avoid the all caps, which is good. Now I'm going to go over here to the right hand side, continue to prices. All right, and here's my price list. And this can be a little bit intimidating when you first see it, but just remember we have two types of shirts. We have a white shirt, and that's all the whites listed here at the top. And we have all the athletic heathers listed down here at the bottom. So we have small, medium, large, extra large, and 2XL. So the gelato price is listed right here. This is the base price, and it ranges from 1873 Canadian up to 2191 Canadian for the 2XL. The Heather is a tiny bit more expensive. It's a different type of thread. So here's the retail price. So we would just simply increase or decrease this depending on what we want the margin to be. And you'll notice the profit over here on the right hand side changes as well. So you could have a low priced item or a high priced item. I would recommend that you take a look at all of the different prices and you figure out what works best for you because you don't want to price your item too low or too high. This looks really good. I'm happy with this. The progress saves successfully on the top right. There's an auto save feature. And then from here, I'm just going to click the publish button. And once I click publish, my design is now on Etsy. And there it is. So I've got one listing on Etsy. And if somebody purchases this shirt, Gelato will print and ship the shirt. And I will receive the money from the client. And I will pay Gelato the base price for the shirt. 
and I'll make the profit. And you can make the profit too. I highly recommend checking out Gelato. They're a great print-on-demand supplier. I use them, I recommend them, and I have a link in the video description below where you can get 60% off your first order with Gelato. I think it's a great deal and definitely worth signing up and checking out. Here's another video on how you can use the powers of Gelato to help with your print-on-demand. Thanks a lot for watching.